And what's up everybody? This is Nun Defense, host of this YouTube channel, and of course the co-leader of the team still unboomable. There I am with a now uh, a new VP, Mark uh, 402. I'd like to thank my lady love Miss Angie for you know she had a few couple hours to spare, so she just uh, spent them on none and she earned me a new gunboat and she upgraded what she upgraded my my artillery as well. So thank you so much for that. Miss Angie, who of course is right there, and with our co-leaders, Mr. Bronson, Nick Kill, and of course, HP, Titan, Hex, and now recently, Marshall, and uh, I'll just go ahead and address that issue. The reason Marshall was promoted specifically is not because I consider him, you know, master of the game or master, you know, strategist or anything like that, but he's definitely adapted very well to the system, and there's no other way that I could say hey man I trust you to at least guide if I'm not around but at the same time you know don't let it go to your head and I'll say that to everybody because you know we can demote just as easily it's cool so uh, anyway but good job Marsha you've done really well in our new in our system and, and you're continuing to prove so thank you for that all right so we have lost stronghold yes that is a loss we did fall short seven attacks but um, you know if I have to you know cut anybody a little slack we've been trying this new start time which is roughly 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as opposed to 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and the flow of the 5 to 6 a.m. Eastern uh, Eastern Standard Time seems to have just worked better this new start time while we've had some wins I don't know the flow just hasn't quite been there so I'd like to just go back to that so that's one adjustment that we're gonna make I'm not upset about this loss right and I'll to explain because we were trying some really you know aggressive uh, tactics some really high high level tactics so you know and that's gonna happen when we're stretching our wings we, you know sometimes we're gonna fall what I want to do is this video, while yes, we technically lost, so yes, that means we're going to have mistakes to go over, but this one is not a beatdown session, I promise you guys. These are uh, This one, just from the casual watching of, of the attacks earlier, this is going to be much more about just some simple, simple adjustments. Okay? Uh, so we're, we're getting so close, guys. We're doing really good. Um, so it won't t be too much. I want to be thorough. So I'll probably at least try to break this up maybe into two videos. So let's look at the bases that we beat in this video. Okay, so we beat Duality, we beat Blue, Wall Up, Blue Water, and we beat Ballast. So let's focus this video on those. So we'll start with Duality. Alrighty, and we'll start with the lovely Lady Miss Fierce Holly. We love her. All right. Um, I'm going to do a short version of this video because I know she's super busy and she won't have the time to kill to watch this whole thing. But the, her, her short version, just for her, is going to be, uh, Holly, when you're running this kind of mission where you're dropping a hook over here and your only job is to take out this one rocket, okay, you're going to barrage, which you did, so you barrage that, you're going to drop, you're going to shock the rocket and flare it, okay. But you spent more of uh, too much shock trying to shock everything. Don't worry about this stuff on the side. So just keep this shock, and you would have been fine. So let's look at what happened. You barraged the rocket. You did fine. You dropped fine. You flared it fine. And right then you should have just went ahead. That you just spent three shocks. Well, you should have just spent two shocks and two shocks only on that rocket, and you'd have overpowered it. But, you know, that's a simple adjustment that we can make. So, and that, when you're, whoever it is, whoever, whatever low level, when you're running that mission, because we see that a lot, it's an easy hookah mission. You don't have to go warriors on it. Just use your shock for the rocket, and don't worry about the other stuff, because, you know, it'll be picking you off, but the whole time you'll be keeping that rocket locked down, and that's what's ultimately going to, you know, screw your day up. So that was duality, Miss Holly. Um, all right, SCR. SCR went in Warriors. He wanted to go ahead and finish that rocket, and we certainly knew that was within his capability. And we asked him to use three well placed artillery just to go ahead and clear these up for everybody involved, just to make sure they're just not there at all. 
that's what those were about. It's just to make the, the path for the next guys easier. So that was a good one. Good job. Uh, so that was duality. We're staying on duality. Don't let me miss anything and don't let me jump. Okay, so then Nick. Alrighty. Uh, so, oh, all the, and the whole time we've been bombing this uh, shock launcher. Uh, so good job on getting that done. So you see what he's doing? He's just flaring in position. He's going to shock, shock. You know, and just doing his thing. Had he flared the core like right away, he, he might have won. But it's okay. Little adjustments. So that was Nick on duality. Did I miss anybody? No, we got SCR. Okay. So, and then Nick to, um, oh no, excuse me, Braun went after duality on Braun's Richard. This must have been the real Braun because I don't remember me running this attack. If somebody can remember, because. Bron's been busy, so I've been having to uh, access some of his accounts. I know it's confusing for the folks in the in the task force, but we're trying. We try to we try to keep everybody on the same page about who's who at any given time. But sometimes it's just confusing. Alrighty, so that one almost got it. And as far as you know, what we could do there at the end to improve it, like, uh -huh. um. You know, I really don't know. I don't have a, a, a good idea about what we should have done different in this situation other than, you know, Nick should have uh, flared it at the beginning, but I don't, you know, but Braun had plenty of gun bone, plenty of stuff, and he couldn't finish it afterwards, and he flared it, so maybe that wouldn't have been it. Maybe we just did what we had to do, which is we just sent some a bunch of Zookas, and we just let them eventually pop it. So good job, guys. Um... Yeah, if anybody can think of, like, a brilliant, better way to run that same base, then we're, we're, we're definitely interested. All right, what else did we beat? We beat Blue Water. So let's look at Blue Water. Blue Water, Blue Water. Bort went in first. Okay. The plan was for high-level tanks. That was what the note said. That, uh, And, again, I'm not so 100% picky on the troops that we send in as long as you're understanding the um the spirit of the plan you know what i mean so if it's calling for like a high level tank but if this is kind of your baby and you can show me consistently that you can run it well which bort has done fairly well then yeah absolutely we're not going to nitpick too much it's about the objective the objective was to go ahead and start working off this side oh let me speed this up excuse me to start working all this side get kind of get up here work the path and if he could, uh, you know, fight some of these stuff, you know, maybe destroy these rockets, that'd be good. You know, right now, he's in instinct mode, and that's what he, we need him to be. Just, you got to let your guys trust their instincts. Just trust their instincts. You know, could it have gone better? Sure, it probably could have gone better. But I'd say, all in all, you did a damn fine job. I mean, you finished, you know, weakened the rockets, you know, by battle, and you finished bombing them, and you cleared all this stuff. And so I would say, good job, Bart. Thank you, sir. You know, and as far as, you know, as we're going in this video, because, because again, we didn't lose because of, like, stupid mistakes. We made of just, you know, ti like timing errors. You know what I mean? Um, errors from just lack of experience trying the things that we're trying. Uh, so those are easy fixes. Like, those are things, like, I love sorting out those kind of issues because that means you're trying. You know, you're trying things. You're trying, like, things that you don't normally try. So in Munkers, he saw the situation, you know, just perfect. Just go ahead and knock this off, make it easy for the next guy. It looks like he's going to want to get back here. So great job, Munkers. You know, I don't, I don't know how you did. I mean, I guess you must have finished off these machine guns, huh? Yeah, there you go. So you had a little shock. You recognized the situation. You know, I noticed you were bombing these rockets. You recognize that. You've, you've been with us for a while, so you know that these rockets are the problem rockets on this layout. So, okay, so I see what's going on. So, good job, Bunkers. So, we're doing solid, you know. We're not... these, But these were the easier bases, to be fair. Uh, so, that was blue water, blue water, blue water, blue water, blue water, blue water. Sith. Alrighty, Sith is our guy. 
is from India, a successful financial advisor and a not a not a terrible little boomer. You know, he's kind of been just the, you know, the low level on this team for a long time, so he he knows that his options are limited, but he doesn't try to, you know, reach out too much. Just do what he can do. You know, he knows that he's got gunboat, so he can use his flare, get in position, just kind of start softening this up and and a, a Sith and not everybody should do this, but a low level like a Sith, once you're in position, yeah, man, go ahead, really unleash the clip. What else are you going to do? You know, you're not taking out huge chunks, you know, you're not carving out a path, you're just doing your little part. This is Mr. Bronsoon running all Azukas. I haven't even watched a lot of these attacks, like I've seen a few, it's just kind of like the ones, which ones that I watch, like, I, it's weird, like I rarely even watch the leader's attacks because it, whether they're good or bad, um, at what I mean, like throughout the day, you know, is like I just kind of know what they're going to be, you know, mistakes are going to be mistakes. Um, unless, of course, they say in the chat, well, that sucked. Yeah, then, then I have to go look at it. Uh, the, the attacks that I definitely make sure that I'm watching, anything that's happening live, anything that's happening right in front of me as it's happening, I, I have to watch it. just can't help it. Um, I definitely look at the attacks of players who haven't been with us very long just to kind of, you know, monitor their progression, uh, see how they're advancing. You know, and guys, if you're not happy on the team, please let me know because I definitely want everybody to be happy, but not at the expense of other people's happiness either. You know what I mean? So, you know, I, I think we have a really great core group, and I've really, it's really been a pleasure. I think we've only gotten much better, and we will continue to improve much better. So, it's a good, good recognition by Bron. So, good job, Bron. Just wearing that down, setting it up for the next guy. Okay, so that was Blue Water, and after that, Goober Dube, Goober Dube, Goober Dude, excuse me, uh, he finished off, great job, he is visiting from Mountain Dew, a team that we did Booming Without Borders with, and I had, you know, a little time to kill, so I was like, ah, screw it, let's see if we can, uh, let's get some guests over here, you know, well, we all learn, when it, to me, the, the benefit of having guests over here uh, for options, I wouldn't want to fill too many slots with guests for obvious reasons. We want to keep, you know, the guys who are familiar on. But uh, I like bringing them over, and I hope that doesn't cause issue on the team. But the reason I really like it is because it just spreads the info, you know, and it pays it forward, and just puts, it gives everybody a chance to learn something new. And let's be honest, guys, if you were a level 20, 30, you would, you wished there was some people that would would let you into a high level task force and show them what you know you know what I mean so I feel like that's why we do it I feel like that's why we should do it is because we we wish we had access to the information so let's give them access to the information alright so that was blue water so and we destroyed ballast so go ahead and let's look at that this was flip flip I'll be honest had you not completed this mission I'd have considered firing you I don't mean this in that in a mean way. It's just like there's no way you could have failed this. Um, I don't like the way Flip... I, here, let's pause it. You... and Don't... How do I say this? I'm not telling you the way I do it. Because the way I do it is just... I copy Braun and I copy Nick, right? So, when I talk about the way that I do it, I'm really talking about the way that, you, uh, that they do it. So, if you have issue with the way... I'm talking about then trust me you need to talk to Braun and Nick and they'll get they'll uh, they'll set you right in a in a quickly but not in a mean way uh, but you have a tendency of smoking 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 then flaring and I don't know it just doesn't seem to flow as well and, and I don't know I feel like the better thing is to flare the target and then smoke along the way but you know that's a debate that maybe uh, I feel I, I would feel much more comfortable letting a Braun or a Nick uh, give their two cents on that opinion. So let's make a point to. Uh, I just feel like you wouldn't have got that shock there. I mean, it didn't cost you in the end. I just feel like you wouldn't have received that shock at all had you flared uh, Braun and Nick's way, which in this case you were here, right? So I would then flare the shock and then smoke, smoke, smoke. 
that's the way I learned by watching the way Bron and Nick do it and it worked for me so I respect them as warrior users so I hope you respect them as warrior users as well but again you did your job you had one shock launcher to destroy and you did it so that was ballast we're looking at ballast now Aziz all right, Aziz, you told me that you made a mistake here. I'm not sure what's going on. Just looking at the troop combo, I can't think of a good reason to have medics here, but maybe you were in a the landing craft was upgrading situation. Um, but let's see how it goes before I judge too harshly because I haven't had a chance to observe this one. Okay, so we're bombing that. Okay. I mean, I guess they're they're doing an okay job of keeping up, but not good enough to, to justify it. You know what I mean? I feel like you'd have been better off if, if you're determined to drop here. Uh, but, let's skip all that because... Um, what am I trying to say? How do I say this? I feel like, in this situation, I'm ignoring these machine guns and this boom. Okay? And I'm just dropping over here, and I'm going putting my zookas right here. Let them hit this stuff first. But if you are absolutely determined to take out this stuff first as you're a part of your mission, and I'm not saying it was a bad idea, then you're really much better off saving a little bit for shock and just shocking this, dropping, shocking, and then maybe bombing. You know what I mean? It's kind of like what I'm saying is, visualize what you want to do and then figure out what's best to do first sometimes it's best to run the gunboat first sometimes it's best to run the troops first you know it just it, it kind of varies but you understood what it was you were trying to do you wanted to remove these three things you removed these three things and you almost got two full rockets so good job Aziz you said it was bad I say it was could have been better but still solid so good job all right so that was aziz on ballast uh, this was uh peter z so i suspect he's gonna do that okay good job off to a good start so he's just gonna drop over here and work on this stuff i imagine i wouldn't have smoked there i'm just gonna shock it right out i mean when your target's this close just go ahead and throw that little shock out but looks like you're gonna get at least this entire corner Good job. Good job. Okay, I'm not shocking there. Um, just because you're going to take it out so quickly. Like, here's where I might shock. You know, once you've gotten up to this point. Okay. Not shocking that. Not until you're, like, on it. You know what I mean? But, either way, I like to shock the things that are hitting me now. You know what I mean? Not to shock the things that are kind of just barely. If there's a grouping... I don't want to shock the grouping until all four targets are on me. Uh, I try to think about that. And I'm not saying it's perfect, but I do try to, you know, put at least a little bit of thought. If there's only one of the four things that are looking at me, unless, of course, we're talking about a rocket situation or maybe a boom cannon situation. But um, you get the point. Good job. I mean, you knew you took care of the four snipers there in the corner, so that deserves an attaboy. So, attaboy. All right, so that was Ballast, Ballast. I'm looking for TT. Let's see what TT did. He got nine force points. Let's see where he got them. Okay. What's he doing up there? All right, he's working on that stuff. Going to bomb that a little bit. Man, TT, you got some good gunboat powers. Good job. Okay. I like that he's smoking up here. I'm worried about these rockets, but, you know, I got to trust his plan. Let's see what he's got. Okay, just keeping that locked down. Nice compensation. Beautiful. He had a plan. He went in with the plan. He set it right up. Great job, TT. And that brings us to UD, Nick's real-life brother, who is an awesome... No, 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 excuse me. Raul went. Raul went hookah. Let's see how Raul did. If I recall, I think I watched this one live, uh, that it went really well. Hey, by the way, all the guys of the recent merger, thank you so much for dropping your hookah zookas, uh, your zookas and hookahs the right way. The like the way we've talked about, like 
seriously so, so many of y'all have just improved so dramatically since y'all come over you may you may not even notice but I do like trust me and those little things you know are are hugely appreciated yeah I, I don't want to start naming off names because you know somebody will get left out and feel like you know uh, you know there's still plenty of improvements to be to be made for sure absolutely um, but all in all across the board the team's gotten a lot better since the merger Okie dokie. And then, of course, UD went and finished Ballast. And the UD, as I said, is Nick's real-life brother. And totally awesome guy. So now, because of everybody working together and nice running, nice, smooth, easy game plans, uh, UD was able to go in and get the easy win. So let's go ahead and watch that easy win. Let him celebrate it. Let everybody know that he's an awesome guy. Him and his brother do uh, uh, are, are big tennis fans, uh, or not tennis, cricket, excuse me. What did I say, tennis? I'm sure they know what tennis is, but they've never t mentioned tennis to me, so I'm assuming that they're not tennis fans, but they love them some cricket. So, all right. So, there you go, guys. Those were the three bases that we beat. The common theme was, one, they were easier layouts. They were certainly the easier of layouts that we will typically uh, run into so we had that on our side but everybody like kept it simple you know what I mean everybody just kind of stuck to the simple tried and true tactics nobody was trying to overreach and we knocked those off very successfully the other bases um, you know it kind of got away from us but again as we go through it next episode you'll see that it was because we were just trying new things and we just got to work on our timing, you know, and we're going to go through that. So everybody I th thought did awesome. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please remember that we are still unboomable and as always, please be safe.